welcome back. It's been a while since you guys have seen this car, but for good reason. Also, before we get started, if you guys are new here, my name is Dustin Williams. We build, race, and have fun here. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button down below. It takes two seconds. We're on the road to a million. It's gonna be sick. Back to what I was saying. You guys haven't seen this one for a while, and that's because it's been getting some work done on it. So, last update that you guys got, this thing got a bigger turbo, as well as a fresh tune, and it absolutely rips. It's wicked. While I was in Japan, this thing was actually getting an alignment because in today's video, we're taking it to the track for the first time ever and actually really driving the car for the first time ever with the new tune, the upgraded turbo and all the goodies that we got. Actually, we did like down pipe, front pipe. There's a lot. So this is gonna be our first real time driving the car and putting the car on the track. It's gonna be amazing. Before we do that, we have a little track preparation that I'm gonna take you guys along for. I like to show you guys the ins and outs of how Tim and I get our cars prepared for the track and what we like to do before our track days because I do think that everybody should at least take their car once to the track because it is a ton of fun. It's a good experience just to have fun and really, really drive your car. Currently, what we're doing right now is, well, it's kind of unfortunate because we didn't plan on doing this. We were, at the beginning, about to do an oil change, which I will show you guys in just a bit. We were doing our oil change. We were doing a generalized walkthrough of the car and we actually noticed this. We have a nice nail just sticking right through our brand new RE71 RS. So what we have to do is we're gonna be doing a full tire swap. You guys saw me loading these this morning. We actually have 275, 35 RE71 RS that are gonna go on these wheels right here. We're swapping 275s onto these and actually taking these tires off and putting them on the rears because these are 265s and we want the car to float. We want the car to rotate when I go in through a corner. Since the car has more power, it's gonna benefit us to have a wider, beefier tire up front and a less beefier tire in the rear. So while Tim drops off our tires to get swapped over onto the wheels, which I'm pretty excited to show you guys because we are gonna go two set, we're upgrading from 265 to 275s in the front. So we'll have a nice beefier stance. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the oil and give this thing an oil change. It's just nice to have after the tune and before the next track day. We have the very nice valve, which makes it super easy to drain your oil. Just like that. Nice and easy. Okay, well that was sort of a pain. Actually, I'm gonna get it for you guys. HKS oil filter, because we do have the HKS oil cooler. And of course, we gotta stay with the trend. We've got HKS again. And big thank you to our guys over at MA Performance for helping us source these. We just need to like, keep a bunch of these in stock just for every time. Where is this? this oh, there it is. Just for every time we do oil changes, because it's because we do want to try and keep HKS oil filters on the HKS oil cooler. It's nice to match, not needed, but it's just nice. So we're gonna go ahead, use some oil here, go right along with our oil change. Also, finishing touch, we're gonna have the HKS sticker plastered right there. Also, it's JDM versus Supercar, so you don't even have a JDM. So it is definitely much later since the last update we gave you guys, but the Type R is set up and ready. To, sorry for the noise for uh, load up the trailer. The Type R is set up and ready to go now. Finally got the wheels on it. The oil change is complete. And we even got a little updated revised tune by the Power Metric guys. So shout out to them for giving us a little last minute update, but we are ready to go. Now, usually we would drive the Type R, but since we are going to be competing in this car this year, we are getting used to loading this thing in. 
the trailer, doing like going through the motions of what we're gonna need throughout the competition season, getting used to it. It's nice to start early, even though we definitely could drive this thing, loading everything that we need into the trailer right now just so we get into a habit of it. Something good, right Tim? Yeah, we need to start practicing. You guys at the track. guys welcome to the track day so like I mentioned before earlier in this video this is gonna be our first time racing the type R with all of the new modifications that we've done including beefier tires up front and then all of the power not to mention our first time here at button willow with the type R which I'm absolutely even more pumped about because this is my favorite track in California well, we have a couple things left to do to the car real fast Tim is gonna go ahead and put in my Garmin this is just my track timing tool that we use in the type r while he does that i'm gonna go ahead and set our tire pressures i think i'm gonna start today out at like 27 it's very very cold today so we're gonna have to warm them up so this is gonna be a new setup with a lot more power so i'm gonna have to gauge at what i want them at anyways so we're gonna try 27 in the front should we do 27 in the front and like 30 in the rear yeah you want more in the rear yeah. on a front wheel. let's just try it and see what happens Car is all set up, ready for the track, but Button Willow is actually notorious for how bad the mist and the fog gets. So there is a cold track right now due to zero visibility. I figured we'll take this time. Let's go walk around and see some of the cool cars that are here. And we also have some friends here. Let's go check out some cool race cars. Been seeing a lot of NSXs lately. Maybe it's a sign. It is a sign. <laughs> It's time. Track is hot now. Full send. First time here. We're just gonna go warm it up, see how she feels, and hopefully go sub two today. With all the Porsches and M3s and You're NSXs. gonna be right behind them. That's right. They're gonna be like, what is that? Oh, it's a Type R. This is something that has eluded me for so long. Three years ago, ever since we started driving, my goal has been to hit a sub two, under two minute time here at Button Willow, and I cannot believe it's eluded me this long. Been right at my fingertips with the S2000. The fastest time we were able to get in the S2000 was a 201. And even in the GTR, last time we were here in the GTR, when it broke, we only had like three laps until the injectors went on the GTR. And even on my first hot lap on the GTR, we ran a 204. A sub two minute time at Butt Willow is something that every driver in California really tries to hit. And this was my real goal today was to go sub two minutes. And even on this lap, I think that we could have gone faster if we didn't hit traffic. Um, we ended up today, you'll see what my final time was at the end of the day. There's just something about this Type R that really clicks with me. And I'm really happy that I learned with my S2000 just because that made me so much more of a confident driver. And ever since hopping in the driver's seat of the FK8, I just really felt like me and this car 
connected. I just get how the car drives. I like how the car drives. And I think with the fresh tune alignment and tires today, we really connected and put everything that I learned through my years of driving into this lap today. And we were able to achieve that sub two time. Check it out. Get on your timer. It was like 202. I was like, it's gonna be close. 59. <laughs> <laughs> what? A ton of traffic. I know. There's tons of traffic. Yeah. 59. Nice, Fuck bro. Yeah. I need to get the tire pressure. After years and years, years of hard work and determination, <laughs> finally succeeded in going sub to a button well. This car absolutely freaking rips, and that's just like, that's not even a taste. That was on 39 PSI as well. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's not even taste of what this car has. I'm gonna put you at 30. Okay. And then try that, yeah. and let me know if it feels good. I was in traffic. We are at a SoCal Drivers Club event, and at this event, it's a very big deal to get a time below two minutes. It's very cool. So cooking is like a, is below two minutes, but like, I think like the type R time here, is like a 54, but either way, I'm super pumped. We did a 159, we were cooking, and we still got some left over. So like I was saying, here at SoCal Drivers Club, it's this is my favorite event number one because it's all open track. There's no sessions, there's no times. You just go out when you go out, and it's a ton of fun. And they also have a, a seal of approval whenever you hit sub two. I can go get a sub two club sticker now. So we gotta take the timer. Also, my, my optimal lap time, according to Garmin, is a 1.58. Oh, you can do it. I can do that. Oh, you had... I did it. Oh, oh man, I did it. You're done for the day. Yeah. Go home. You guys, home thanks for having me here. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, done for the day. finally. Oh, yeah. That's so sick. So when you go sub two, get a sub two club sticker. <laughs> I mean, you gotta earn it. Oh, I'm so stoked. That's there you go. <laughs> I gotta represent. This is so dope. I'm pumped. Okay, I think I think we should just go right here. We should go for it. I think it looks really good right there. Me too. I think Send that's, it. I think that's 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 gonna have to be it. Now we just need that sticker. Now on all of the race yeah, cars. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, if this is this good, how good is the FL5 gonna be? Kind of talked him into staying until about 3.30, just so we can get one more session because he was so close. He got a 59.1, so he was very close, but he got traffic again. It's been traffic all day long, so let's see if he can get there because it looks like the track's a little bit empty. Hopefully it stays that way. We'll see how the car handles, and he turned track control all the way off this time, so we shall see how everything turns out. Uh, but it's been a great day. Let's see if he can make it a better day. <laughs> what a day, dude. This was, I think this is my favorite track day. 
just because the car is incredible. Check this out. Okay, so we're wrapped up. We're about to load the car up again. Look at this though. That's why I love this thing because you have so much data on here and I can, I, I've on the video probably overlaid some footage for you guys. But in the Type R today, we did 42 laps. That's a lot of laps. That is, I think that might be the most seat time I've ever gotten in a single track. We set our goal, we made our goal of going sub two here at Buttonwell with a 159.1. We are on the cusp of a 58. Next time's a 58, if not a 57. All of my optimal lap, if I could just put everything together, was a 157, and I know I can do that. I just gotta, in my brain, figure it out. But overall, Tim, today, massive success. I am so pumped with this car. So we're gonna try and get as much seat time as possible and as much practice as possible to prepare us for March for Cirque of the Americas, because we're gonna need all the help we can get for that. Huge thanks to SoCal Drivers Club for having us out today. It was a blast. I always love their uh, their track day, just because no sessions. We were able to run 42 laps in six sessions, which is pretty insane. So overall, good day. We're gonna load everything up and head back to the shop. Oh boy, tonight is a big night in this household. Number one, we finally made it back from the track. But number two, tonight, yeah, yes, we're gonna get to this, but tonight, tonight, is The Last of Us night. Episode three comes out tonight, and I'm freaking pumped. If you watch the gaming channel, you would know this. But if you don't, then I'm just gonna tell you anyways. But you should still watch the gaming channel. Last of Us is one of my favorite games of all time, and they just adapted it to a TV show, and it is, it's incredible. So what we're doing tonight is, Tiana and I's favorite meat is bison. And thanks to our awesome friends over at Dakota, Dakota Pure, they got us some bison bratwurst. So we're making some dogs tonight, but we're grilling them on the Traeger and it's gonna be delicious. What we're gonna do while we wait and while we cook the bison, we're actually gonna put on episode two right now. Also, update, we got a new TV. And I know a lot of you guys will like this because it's bigger, not as small as it was. And also it's just way, way nicer. We've had that old TV right there for five years now. So it's definitely a good upgrade. We're gonna put on episode two, just to remind ourselves of what's going on. <laughs> Chef Duck back in action. And sous chef sparkle. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, we got some nice pellets in there. Ooh. Ask me about my wiener. How perfect did I time this? Literally end credits of episode two. Check this out. We have the bratwurst. Bison bratwurst. These look juicy, delicious, thick. Key money, which one would you like? I would like, I want this, this guy, guy and this guy. Whoa, okay. Just feel the outside skin for me real fast. <laughs> Just give it a touch. The amount of jokes I'm holding Ooh. back right now is unreal. And we also went ahead, I did, caramelize some onions <laughs> as well as some peppers. Would you like some? Yes, please. Oh, baby. That's pretty insane. Oh, man. Okay, first bite, first impression, let's try it. Ooh. Look at that. What do you think? That's unbelievable. It's right now. Okay. Just wait. Here we go. Just freaking wait. That's godly. Oh, oh. So it's like nice and tender. I know, it's amazing. Chef up. I know. Chillax, child. Let's go put on Last of Us episode three. Episode three, babe, what's your verdict? It was very good. It was an ex unexpected but excellent episode. I'm gonna give it. I, you loved it. I did love it. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Seven out of 10, I think. It was very, very good. Well, overall, very fun day at the track. Great end to our weekend with some bison dogs <laughs> and some of The Last of Us. Make sure to check out the game channel if you haven't already because we're about to play it. It's gonna be awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today. Super stoked on the Type R Sub 2 Club now. So if you guys have not already, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And also don't, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to a million and we're gonna get there soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.